We're still waiting to see how U.S. equities respond to the latest record run as trading conditions return to fuller form on this Tuesday. On the currency side, things have been all over the place. The euro is down. The pound has given back most of its gains today. The yen is bid. Aussie and Kiwi are running higher, and the Canadian dollar is softer. So it's all been a big hodgepodge. Bottom line right now, we'd like to see how the return of the U.S. market makes a difference here, as we think it will give us a better handle on direction. There's no denying the underperformance in the euro on Tuesday has come from a bad dump of data in the form of discouraging German factory orders and German ZEW reads. As far as Aussie and Kiwi outperformance today goes, this can be chalked up to the RBA decision, which leaned more to the hawkish and upbeat side after the central bank left rates on hold as expected. The pound got an early boost from the better than expected UK construction PMI data, but has since again pulled back. As far as coronavirus updates go, Germany announced that the UK, Portugal, Russia, India, and Nepal will be removed from the country's high-risk category of virus variant areas as of tomorrow. Moving on, we think it will be important to keep an eye on the soaring price of oil with the market coming into a retest of the critical high from 2018. What makes things more interesting is how the market might respond to the unexpected cancellation of the OPEC meeting. As far as data for the remainder of the day goes, it's US ISM non-manufacturing that stands out. That's all for now.